We've added some new features in the Acura app powered by Smart Agro that have been launched this week. And I wanna show you a few of them right now. So first to make sure that you're on the right version, if you look down in the menu on the bottom, the app version, it should be 4.0 and that would be your, your latest version. The first thing I'll, I'll draw your attention to is that now instead of just viewing growers on the map, you can also view them as a list view. So if, instead of going to customer map, you'd go to accounts. And when you open that up, you're gonna see a list of all of the accounts that you have access to in your territory. So you can see that on the top, I've got a filter for growers, leads and channel accounts. And so the leads is a new thing that we've added. If you have any seed advisor leads that you're tracking that are assigned to you in Salesforce, they will show up in your list here and you can write quick visits against them. But I'll show that in a separate video. On the grower side, you'll see a list of all the, the growers, same with the channel. And you can still search in here and it'll pull up a list of just the ones you're searching for. Now, I'm gonna open up a seed advisor here. And the first thing you'll notice is that in addition to the administrative information, we've added the SAP ID right there in the middle. The, it's the FSAP number um, for reference. You can see that they're Golden Harvest Seed Advisor. And the first thing then is that we've added is contact. So the very bottom option in show contact list, you can see that you, if you have two different contacts that you're working with at that seed advisor location, you can add that in here. You can edit the contacts, you can create a new contact, um, or you can just view it. And likewise, you can do that on the grower side as well. So either, either resellers or growers, you can add contacts um, through Smart Agro. The next thing that I'll show you is the, the show quick visits button. So in this case, you can see if there's any open visits related to that seed advisor or any closed um, completed quick visits as well. And you can add new, a new quick visit by clicking on the new button on the upper left-hand corner. The last thing then you can do from this screen on the seed advisor side is view related growers, which is your top green button there. So when I view related growers, it's gonna zoom me into the map just for the growers that that seed advisor sells to, or that's on that seed advisor's customer list in Crop Edge. And so from here, you can see that all of the, the growers for this uh, seed advisor for Clint Travis show up on the map. If I wanted to view just this list, or just these growers in a list, you look in the upper right-hand corner with that those three lines and the three dots, you touch on that and now it'll pull 169 pins that were on that map into a list view. So it's just another way of viewing the data, which is now sorted um, in the order in proximity to my location. So I'll go back to the map and we still have all the same um, Filtering, if you go to the bottom, you can touch over and filter on, change it to the Acura segment. You can see all of your retain, acquire, and upsell growers. And then if you keep going, filter by stage would be for your leads. And then by activity, if you wanted to see uh, when you visited these growers in the last four weeks, the last month, the last one to three months, you can change them as well. So those are some of the filtering capabilities that, that you have available.